girls, welcome back to the Acne channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. So this video is all about mass acne. With the whole coronavirus pandemic happening, most of us are forced to wear face masks, especially when doing field work. I was scrolling on Facebook the other day and most of you guys have probably already seen these photos. There are photos of nurses and doctors with bruises around their face because they have to wear masks 24 seven. While our everyday mask isn't as intense as that, it can still further irritate our skin and worsen our acne. So why exactly do we get mass acne and how can we really approach this? What type of solutions can we come up with? So this video is going to answer all of those questions. So first of all, why exactly does this happen? As you can see, the fabric looks relatively light, but there is a concentrated pressure on the edges of the fabric, which leads to further irritation and friction. And all of this can irritate your skin even further. The second reason why you're getting pimples when you're wearing a mask is because of the environment that's created underneath the mask. As you wear it for a long period of time, you're increasing the heat and the moisture underneath your mask because of your breathing. And it's kind of trapped into that concentrated area of your skin. So what we'll find is that the buildup of sweat and oil leads to clogged pores and hence acne. So now this leads me to practical solutions that you guys can do in order to prevent and manage your mask acne. I've got five main tips. Hopefully these help you. So let's get right into it. So tip number one. Now this might be a given, but please try to steer away from makeup. Makeup in combination with the moist that is trapped underneath your mask causes further blockage to your pores and leads to breakouts. I know that sometimes going on makeup free is difficult, but maybe focus on your eye makeup instead and just have the mask sitting there on to clean their skin. If you do wear makeup and you feel like you need to wear makeup, opt for a mineral powder makeup that is a lot lighter than liquid foundation. I personally use Tribe Mineral Powder Makeup in Medium and also Be Curity or Echo Minerals are great brands. They're really light to my skin and they don't break me out. Tip number two is immediately cleanse your skin before and after wearing a mask. So this helps remove excess oils that may lead to further blockage of pores. So look for cleansers that are gentle. There are so many cleansers out there that have really calming ingredients such as chamomile leaf extract. There's also aloe vera juice. There's also cucumber peel extract. Those are amazing ingredients and you can actually find these in the All Clear Banish Mint Cleanser. This is the one that I use daily in the AM and PM and I love it for my skin because it just firms up beautifully, smells really nice and immediately calms the redness and any inflammation on my face. Also when it comes to washing your face don't do a dodgy job of like 10 or 20 seconds make sure you take the full 60 seconds. Not only does that allow the products to properly cleanse your skin but it also increases blood circulation. So when you're massaging your face in circular motions for 60 seconds you're promoting a renewal of nutrients underneath your skin so your skin can repair itself at a quicker rate. Now the reason why I'm emphasizing on this is because when you're wearing a snuggly mask it pretty much blocks the blood circulation especially when you're wearing for long periods of time. Step number three is wear an extremely light moisturizer. If you're wearing a thick moisturizer, again, it's going to mix up with all the sweat, the oils, the clogged pores underneath your mask, and it's only going to block your pores. So what I recommend is try to find a light moisturizer with skin barrier boosting ingredients that help protect the skin without leaving that heavy residue. What I love is the Banish Vitamin C Cream. It absorbs beautifully into my skin, as well as the Hyaluronic Acid from Antipodes from New Zealand. Tip number four is try to opt for a chemical exfoliant as opposed to a physical exfoliant. The mask on your face is already providing that physical friction, further irritating your skin. You don't want to have another physical exfoliating like a scrub or anything like that onto your skin. So try to find a chemical AHA product. So this is talking about glycolic acid or mandelic acid. These AHAs really, really help get rid of all that dead skin cells, but in a very, very gentle way. So my recommendations is the pumpkin mask, or the Almond Clear Mandelic Acid Serum Level 1. They're great exfoliants that are chemical as opposed to physical, which will further contribute to the physical friction and irritation of your skin. So avoid physical exfoliants. Tip number five is my last tip. Try to use a soothing gel right before bed. After a whole day wearing a mask, you want to kind of alleviate that pain and irritation by using a calming gel. This provides instant relief. So when it comes to soothing gels, look for these three main ingredients. Green tea, you guys know how popular green tea is. It's known for its healing properties because it reduces inflammation. Another one that I can't really pronounce is dimethosulfone, which really, really helps 
in preventing the breakdown of collagen. That means your skin is able to retain its plumpness so it doesn't look dull and dry like, you know, like an apricot. The last ingredient that I recommend is Anika, which helps with the healing of bruising. So those are the three ingredients that I recommend. I personally use the Banish Phytogel. And the Phytogel is absolutely amazing for cystic acne as well. I just pop it onto my skin, and the next day I can visually tell that the size has definitely decreased and it looks less inflamed. And that's it for today. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Um, let me know down in the comments if I've missed anything. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, you can also see me on my other social media just search up Pretty Progress 23 and you guys will see me there. Anyways, I'm sending you all my love and light. Stay safe during this pandemic and big kisses. Mwah. Bye guys.